Okay, that's interesting, that one. Does Scrum change the way you work or the way you think? So what's interesting about that question is it implies a separation. The deeper I've gone into the Agile world, the more that I've embraced the core concepts that are fundamental to agility, the more my thinking has shifted. And because my thinking has shifted, my way of working has shifted. And sometimes my thinking has shifted because I've shifted my way of working. Right? We can't necessarily directly change our thinking. Right? When you look at an organisation, people say, change the culture. You, you can't change the culture. What you can do is you can incentivize certain behaviours and actions so that those become dominant. And because they become dominant, they become key indicators of your culture. And at a certain point, you hit this tipping point that you may have heard of, everybody else follows. And so your culture changes. And I think it's very similar when you look at this from a thinking and doing aspect. We can absolutely change some of our thinking. But when the pressure comes on, we also know people revert back to what has worked for them in the past. I'll pick on project managers for a moment. Lovely people, but they're fair play. You've got a PM. They've been very successful in that traditional phased approach, the waterfall. And they step into a scrum master role. And they want to be a good scrum master. There's nothing wrong with that. They can do a great job. And they're doing a good job. They're supporting the team. They're helping them understand how to work in this agile way. But then the deadline shifts. They've got to deliver. Okay, The team has to deliver. And they have to deliver by a date that is much closer than originally envisaged. Most people at that point would fall back on the skills that they know work. Because they're under pressure. So that Scrum Master who's on a great path to being an amazing Scrum Master has got a choice. Can I try this way that I don't know works? I don't have experience. I've never done it before. I have no idea of success here. Do I keep doing that? It might work. It might look like it's going to work. But I don't know. I'm uncertain. Or do I fall back on what I know well, what has worked in the past? Okay? And I'm now going to switch from Scrum Master back into Project Manager. We like certainty. In fact, we crave certainty. So much so that we make ridiculous decisions as soon as you put into uncertainty. And what we see is people time and time again revert back into their old roles, their old way of working, because the pressure's on, it's coming to a crunch, and they want to fall back on a thing that they know that they're comfortable with. Their brain doesn't want to work hard. So it gets a bit pernicious. So we can start doing things and it's not necessarily going to change our thinking. But over time, we're going to have those successes. We're going to see that it does work. And when the pressure comes, sometimes we're going to be the scrum master that we want to be. Sometimes we're going to be the project manager we were. And our thinking is going to evolve because we have learned that it works. It's worked here and it's worked here and it's worked here. So I'm more comfortable that it's going to work here. In fact, people get to, again, a tipping point where they think it's more likely to work this way than it will that way. I'm more invested in here. The team's more invested here. So why wouldn't we carry on? And we see people's behaviours change. So for me, these are reinforcing cycles. It's not an either or. When you bring Scrum into your world, the likelihood is you're going to be using it with a team. And the likelihood is you're going to start by paying it lip service because that's the level you understand it on. And if things get difficult, you may well fall into habits from a past life. Nothing wrong with that. It's not bad. It just is. But as you become more experienced, as those winds grow in this new way of working, they're going to become slowly over time your default position. Your brain is going to rewire itself to think success is possible here. And slowly, again, it's going to become this is the better way of achieving success. I've still got those skills. I can fall back on them. They have worked in the past. But these newer skills have worked more recently. So we have a stronger reference point. And 
our thinking shifts. And as we do that, we're going to dig deeper into why does this work for us? When does it work? When does it not? And we're going to gain more, more knowledge. And then we're going to continue to apply that. Now we're not paying lip service to an agile way of working. We're not paying lip service to Scrum. We're doing it. We're living it. The intent behind the words is true. And ultimately, your way of working is going to change and your thinking is going to shift and you're going to go deeper and deeper into what works for you. So that's a very long way of saying it's not either or. When you introduce Scrum, the likelihood is your thinking is going to shift once you start using it. And as your thinking shifts, your practice is going to shift as well. More and more, you're going to find where it works for you and, of course, where it doesn't. And you're going to learn how to use this tool, this framework, to best effect to achieve what you want from it. If you've got to this point in the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, a like would be appreciated. If you want to hear more from me, more answers to questions that maybe you've got in the Agile world, please subscribe to the channel. And if you've got a question that you really want answered, drop it in the comments. I promise we'll get around to it. Thank you.